Hello, hello. My name is Brittany D. I am a psychic medium and spiritual teacher, and I'm here to give you the collective message for September 23rd to the 30th. This is an overall message for the collective, so it may or may not resonate. Super, super would love to hear if it does resonate, to drop that in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all the things. It's super, super helpful for us YouTube creators. Thank you for being here. If you're new, welcome. So grateful to align with you at this time. So this is going to be an overall message for the collective, uh, just for the week. I release these every single week, along with a few other videos. Um, so check the content out. Grateful to have you here. Let's see what Spirit has. Oh, right as I said that. Let's see what Spirit has for this week. Watch your thoughts. It's important to not only think about what you desire. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. This feels to me usually really relevant and important when manifesting. Because whenever you're really focused um, on your thoughts and staying in a, in a particular vibration, it's really important not to allow those fears and limitations to come, you know, take over the scene. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So we're really staying focused on being in that positive state, in that um, satisfied state of being. It's definitely manifesting happening here. Self-employment. You are a born entrepreneur. Your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So this is for my entrepreneurs, my, um, yeah, you know, self-employed and running their own business, whether it's big or small or whatever it may be. It's, you're, you're, there's big things manifesting for business owners right now, self-employed business owners. All right. I'm going to shuffle one more time, and if nothing pops out, then I'm just going to take the last card. There we go. I think all three of our cards popped out at once. Yeah, I sure did. So this was on the chair, White Witch, Be the Light. So this is definitely anchoring light positivity, that real fulfilling, thriving life force energy. Traveler, move in a new direction. Move in a new direction. This is interesting. I'm feeling some sort of pivot in a sense, you know, when it comes to business owners, sometimes you're running on this trajectory of your business and doing your business this way. And then it comes a time in your life because life has changed so much over that time period of driving that train, you know, train that you have to pivot and go on a different train track. That's what I'm getting here with this move in a new direction card. Druid, hold space. It's like, it's like holding, creating the container. It's holding, being a space holder, bearing witness in a sense um, to this. That's just, it's kind of almost just manifesting and happening and unfolding right before you. Um, <laughs> then we got the launching your journey card. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth the universe. It's the second time we got a traveler card. Um, there's definitely a pivot and a launching in a different direction for it's positive, um, positive manifestation, flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. This pivot, this shift, it really um, was a good awakening ancient wisdom. Deeper inner knowing is emerging within me. You really got to trust your intuition on this one. Um, but it really shifts you in a, a much like almost overdue desired direction.
dietary change. This is not just what you eat. It's all the things that you consume. So you're making a, a, a life change, a radical life change, actually, with this pivot and this shift within your employment. Grief work. That happens every time we have an up level, right? There's always a hint at some point or another, it can be big and small, big or small, that grief of the old, that letting go of that old, letting go of that which you are now dieting from. We got decisions was up and then we got family changes. Decisions, I'm getting a lot around really following through on that, you know, launching that direction that you went through, that you went to, like after you do, you know, the grieving of these things that you are now dieting from or letting go of, um, there's a really grounding into that decision. And really, it's like you, you shifted the train and now you just press the go button and we're driving in that direction. And that's where these family changes come from. There's shifts within the family dynamics because of this um, positive change in your employment. Okay, sacrifice was closest to me. Then we got partnerships and alliances. And then we got moving on. Sacrifice. I'm not sure about that one just yet. Feels like involved with this family and family changes. Partnerships and alliances. They just said those that you have relied on. And then moving on. It feels like we're moving into next week's energy. Mm. There might be something about your business blowing up that creates some kind of riff in a previous partnership and a, or alliance that you had, something you were collaborating and so you move on and kind of do more of your own thing. Interesting. That feels more like leading into next week. He's literally walking into next week. <laughs> Empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Make sure to remain. This definitely feels like we're moving into next week. Make sure to remain solid in your trajectory that you are moving on. Um, and if this creates any rifts with a partnership or alliance, know that it's not yours. Be, be the mirror. Um, which might mean moving on. Let's see what it is, what activation card we have for this week. Alchemy. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability of remembrance of the magic that we hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So whatever this is that may have caused a rift, you're just gonna alchemize it and make it a big part of this manifestation. Uh, uh, you're gonna make it gold. You're gonna see the silver lining and make it part of this awakening and this up level in your employment and in your manifestation and your light in your next journey. It's, it's a pivot to a new, a new trajectory for you. Um, so this is really, really cool. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I also currently have my intuition development program. We start next week, next Thursday at September, September 29th. It's at 6 p.m. each week. And so it's all about developing your channel. Um, it's where you can do the intuition one, two, and three. It's where you can get certified um, to channel and to, you know, do psychic mediumship. Um, so it's a really beautiful program um, The this first eight week portion is the intuition development course. And then if you want to move on to one-on-one -on -one mentorship, that's later on down the road. Um, 
but this course is starting this Thursday. So I'm really excited about that. If you have any interest in developing your channel in developing your intuition and your psychic skills, um, this is an incredible space to do so. So check the description uh, below for any details for that. And of course, just email me if you have any questions. Um, and I will see you next week. Please tune in if you are new here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all the things. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful week.